chew out. I'm gonna introduce you. Oh, okay. No, I can see you. You can't be there. You're just in the background now. Okay. Oh boy, guys, are we in for a treat. This is about to be a silly haul. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyra. We are filming a Trader Joe's haul, but today is a very special one because we have it's my mom! Hi everyone! Isn't she so cute? She's so little. Isn't she so beautiful? That's enough. Anyways, my mom is the OG Trader Joe's queen. Do you remember what year we started going to Trader Joe's? I don't know, but every time I go into Trader Joe's, I think of buying little things for you, like the little cheese crackers and... Little the pirate's booty? And pirate's booty, yep. We went to Trader Joe's a lot when I was a little kid. You sure did. Like, when did they open? Alex, pop it up on the screen, because I don't know. But anyways, all of my Trader Joe's videos are because my sweet mother raised me on dried fruit snacks from Trader Joe's instead of candy bars, so thank you for that. Cheese sticks. Cheese sticks, fruit snacks. We were definitely an ingredient household. You didn't keep like junk food or like snacks around. You had things and you'd be like, you can make a quesadilla or you can make nachos. We never had just like surpluses of like chips and no. granola bars and gushers and things. I remember telling you all the time, raisins are fruits can't candy of you remember you, that, you remember you remember telling me this all the time <laughs> just except for nature's, not in this nature's candy that was it you would tell me nature's all the time candy. i still hate raisins and i think it's because <laughs> of you <laughs> anyways so we have a trader joe's haul we went to trader joe's together this morning and got a bunch of stuff so let's go ahead and jump into a trader joe's haul with my mom yes all right, we'll wait on this bag because this bag's got some goods, but we'll start oh. over here. Doot, doot, doot. Starting up strong, you got these ones. For my husband's birthday. Do you realize <laughs> like my food issues now? Like my mom's like, I got him peanut butter pretzels for his birthday. <laughs> It's a treat. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, these peanut butter pretzels are delicious. They're also really well priced and really filling. So that's a really great snack. Your girl went a little bit ham today. I used to be able to get this all the time when I lived in Arizona. I think I just didn't have as popular of a Trader Joe's, but the Trader Joe's in downtown Chicago is very, very popular. I never see this in stock literally ever. So when I did, I bought four packs. <laughs> but She's my daughter. But it's okay because I can freeze them. So this is the wild sockeye smoked salmon, but it's the ends in pieces. So if you've ever bought smoked salmon before, it comes in like the long like sheets. This does not, this is like little chunks. So it's not your most like aesthetic looking smoked salmon, but it's exactly the same. And it's so delicious. This is eight ounces for $6.99. The four ounce of regular sheets was for $8.99. I'm sure. So it's literally less than half the cost. So I bought four of them and I'm going to freeze three of them. And I think I'm probably gonna make those two ingredient, the yogurt and flour bagels. We should make those. They're oh, so yeah. good. Yes. Yes, because we're gonna eat them. Wonderful. All right, next up, this is a snack that we used to get all the time and they haven't had it in stock in a while. And I saw it today and I got really excited and I know Alex is gonna be really excited. These are the crispy, crunchy, spicy mochi rice nuggets. These are spicy. They're like a unique kind of spicy. Are you, you wanna try them? Yes. <laughs> the hands? Yes. Okay, they're very crunchy. Don't break a tooth. Okay. You get one. I get one. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. They're it's delicious. like a building heat. Mmm, this is the right amount of crunch and bite and heat. I love it. Oh, it's getting hotter. It's good, huh? It's getting hot in here. <laughs> My mom's saying that to every guy I've ever dated. <laughs> Ooh, those I are like good, those. huh? The plain ones are also really good. They have a very buttery flavor, but we're a spicy household. Yeah. Next one, I got Alex two more of the boxes of the Fiberful granola bars. These are just a great snack to have on hand because he literally needs to eat like triple the amount of food that I do in a day. And it's very hard for me to cook meals for that. So always have like lots of snacks on. If you've watched my channel, you know, majority of my haul is just Alex snacks. Do you approve? I approve. Fiberful. Next up, we did go a little bit ham in the seasoning department today. So my mom asked me, what is one seasoning that I recommend that she takes home with her? And I told her to get that, I don't know how to pronounce this, Ajika seasoning. This one is the Georgian seasoning blend, spicy, garlicky, and deeply aromatic and savory. I think this is really, really good. I mix it with tahini sometimes, and I swear to God, that is the best marinade wow. on a chicken ever in a little soy sauce. Mm. So good, but this is just a really unique one. Coriander, fenugreek, 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 mm -hmm. dried minced garlic, salt, and marigold. It's just, I'm marigold. excited for you to try this one. Interesting, That's okay, good. great, thank you. I have not seen this before, but I wanted to get this one today. This is the sriracha sprinkle. Granulated garlic, sugar, kosher salt, paprika, vinegar powder, cayenne, dried red bell pepper, rice concentrate, and citrus acid. I think that this will be really interesting to try on like a marinated Asian style chicken. I don't know, I got really trigger happy. I 
got a third one that I also didn't need, but I got this as well. This is the Salmon Rub. One of my friends has this and she recommended it and I have salmon in the freezer right now. So I was like, we're gonna give this one a try. This one is brown sugar, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, rice concentrate, and dried thyme. Could I have made this really easily? Absolutely. Did Trader Joe's get me with branding with a teal bottle? Yes, they did. <laughs> All right, we're trying another snack. I'm excited for this Yay. one. This is the Everything But The Bagel Seasoned Bite Size Crackers. I don't know if these have been around, but I definitely have never bought them before. Garlic, onion, caraway, poppy, and sesame seeds. What's not to like? My mom likes bird food. I like savory, for sure. Ooh, it smells garlicky. Thank you. Cheers. You put it in your mouth now. Mmm. Mmm. Underwhelming. Nope. I like it. They're not salty enough for me, and I don't think they have that strong of a flavor. Mmm. I wanted a flavor of rye. I wanted something stronger and saltier. They're not bad. They're definitely not bad. I don't know. I wanted a stronger salt. I and... like them. Would I buy them? Maybe not. Oh, okay. Then you don't like them that much. But I do like them because I'm hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to tame down your hunger emotions and give people actual recommendations. Uh, I see what she's saying. Yeah. <laughs> I went a little bit crazy in the Indian food section. I got two things of the butter chicken and basmati rice, and then I bought three things of the palak paneer. If you've watched my last vlog, I made homemade chicken tikka masala, and it was so good. I used like a healthy high protein recipe where it was like a lot of Greek yogurt and stuff, but it turned out absolutely freaking delicious, and I loved it. But you know what I cannot make? Palak paneer. This is hard. You can't buy paneer. It's just, it's a tough one. And so I'm not even interested. Trader Joe's has like the best frozen. It's delicious. So good. So I got these and I think I'll probably do chicken tikka masala and palak paneer for dinner again soon. Tonight? Well, we're going out for Indian food tonight. We're not bringing it with us. <laughs> That's a good idea. Next up, this is another one that has been in rotation for me because it's just super easy and really healthy when I'm like needing a meal on the go. This is the barbecue teriyaki chicken and then the Asian style stir fry vegetables. There are so many sauce packets in this. I typically just use the packets from this one and I don't use this one because this one's really high in sugar. Outside of that, this is basically just like a bag of boneless skinless chicken leg meat that is ready to be covered in a sauce in a stir fry. So I love mixing the two of these together. I do it with half rice, half of the cauliflower stir fry and it is the easiest meal prep ever. I'm obsessed. Wow, that sounds awesome too. I think I'll live with you and let you cook for me. Next up, <laughs> I got another bag of the spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. This is so spicy, mom. It's like absurdly spicy. It has jalapenos in it. Which is bizarre because I live in Mexico and it's not spicy there. Here it is on fire. Like yeah. I have to mix it with rice because it is so spicy. Wow. But it is very, very good. So it's good in like small quantities. I love adding this into like burrito bowls and stuff because it gives it such a good kick and just more veggies. But whew, she's not to be messed with. Okay. We have another one. These are, I think you're going to love this. Super seedy cheese snacks with puffed quinoa and whole peppercorns. This looks like bird food, but it has cheese in it. So I was intrigued. What's not to like about cheese? Oh, these are messy. Mm. No. No? I don't like it. I like these more than I like the bite sized seasoned crackers. I probably do too, but I don't like the whole seeds in it. I don't like seeds though. Oh, I love seeds. Mmm. Mm. No. Yum. Okay. Now you're not doing it for me either. Whoa. Ooh. The peppercorns are quite a surprise. That's a lot of pepper in one bite. I love the Parmesan cheese in it. It's really aged sharp. It's delicious. I feel like I just ate like a chunk of pepper. Mmm. Mmm. I like those. Okay, Keith, check. Beautiful. Thank you. I'll let you finish and then I'll check yours. All right. Next up, I did grab two more of the protein barbells. I'm not a huge protein bar girl, but I do like- 200 calories. Yeah, but it's 200 calories, but they're 20 grams of protein. It's really filling. These are perfect on days when I'm like in the office and I don't have time to grab lunch. Also, I was so proud of myself. They had a whole thing of bagels and I really don't like a cold bagel, but I was gonna eat it just cause it was there. And instead I was like, I got a protein bar in my backpack. I'm gonna eat it and I ate it and I was totally satisfied. I don't like cold bagels. Does it taste like candy though? It's chocolate dough. Yeah. It does taste like candy? Yeah. Remember when you used to feed me power bars? Yes. It's kind of like because that. Because she'd get hungry and angry. Bruh. Nothing's changed. <laughs> This is a new item. They're not like Trader Joe's branded, so I don't know if this is like another company. Pranzo gnocchi. They're fresh gnocchi in here. These were like a shelf staple. They were $1.99 and I was like, we never eat regular gnocchi. So I was like, we're gonna go ahead and give this a whirl. So what would you sauce it up with? Pesto? Yeah. Red sauce? Yeah. I'm a gnocchi pesto person. However, I did do recently a red sauce and then blended it with cottage cheese to make it like a creamy red sauce. That was delicious. I actually think I'll probably do that with that this. That sounds tasty. I will also probably mix it with one bag of the cauliflower gnocchi. They're gonna be a totally different consistency. Oh, Honestly, wow. I don't think these really give like full gnocchi vibes in my opinion. They're kind of just their own little beasts. 
I like them, but it's not really fair to say that these are a comparison. Are these light and fluffy though? Not really. They're like dense and gummy. Interesting. Which I like. Like, it's just different. Don't know. If you know, you know. I had to get another thing of these string cheeses. This mama wants to try this. If you haven't seen it before, the pickles and string cheese are one of my absolute favorite snacks recently. We're like low on string cheeses because I'm making them like almost every day. And I want you to try it because it's absolutely delicious. I will try it. So for Alex's breakfast sandwiches, I got another thing of ham. He literally I ate a whole container of ham yesterday just like chilling. I was like, sir, that's for your breakfast sandwiches. And then I got another thing of these smoked turkey. This is good if we need just a quick snack on the go or something. Ooh, we're almost okay. there. This is a new product that I have not seen before. It's possible they have had it before and I've just never bought it, but I saw it and I wanted it. This is blood orange cake mix with icing. I love orange flavored things. So this just looked really tasty. I think what I'll probably do is make this and bring it to the team for one of our Maven Mondays or like when I'm with friends or something because I'm never going to eat a whole orange cake on my own. I almost bought one too because my husband's having a birthday soon. If you have space in your suitcase, you can take this home because I really don't need it. Yeah, but, but I wanted to show it off. It. Yeah, it's great. Okay, last one in the wheelie car before we move into the bag. I did get two of these shots. These are new ones. Trader Joe's does these different shots. They have like the ginger one, the turmeric one, the acerola cherry one. This one is pineapple probiotics with coconut water, pineapple, lemon, and ginger. There's lots of little words in here for the probiotics that I don't know, but I trust Trader Joe's with my life. What one? Sure. There's no wheatgrass. Okay. Shots. shots. Morning shots. Cheers. Cheers to you. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, that was really good. I like that it's a probiotic, but it's not a big glass of it. Just a little shot. Thank yeah, those you. are good. All right, moving on. Another new item that I was really excited about that I'm also just so confused by. This is this giant candle that is tomato leaf scented. What the hell does a tomato leaf smell like? We're about to find out. Thank you for that. That doesn't smell like a tomato leaf. I don't like think I spruce? like it. It's interesting. It kind of reminds me of a knockoff of those like citronella candles. An aged pine scent. It says seasonal aroma of freshly picked tomato leaves with hints of bergamot, rhubarb, and geranium. Mm. I don't think I like it. It was $10. Do you think it was worth it? Well, candles are very expensive. Eh, this one's a swing and a miss for me. We also got a couple cards. I picked out this card because we are going to a baby shower this weekend. And then you got a birthday card. A birthday card. No, you it, didn't. I was just going to say exciting, exciting new chapter. Because he might, it's, he's writing a book. I'm it literally says on the inside, congratulations to, on your retirement. I'm going to take off retirement <laughs> and put birth. Day. He's writing a book. I didn't like any of the birthday cards. So <laughs> okay, good job. Mom. Good job. And Thank then who, you. you don't have someone who's having a baby? Yeah, my substitute teacher is oh. having twins. So oh. I wanted to give her a card. That makes sense. Okay, that's very nice. Next, I got another thing of blueberries. The blueberries have been so big. <laughs> I love blueberries and they're so expensive in Mexico. <gasps> These blueberries are giant and they're so delicious. Nature's candy. Watch. I'm going to get one. Cheers. I love blueberries. It's so good for you. That's such a great antioxidant. Last but not least, this is the snack that I'm most excited for because they're so stupid delicious. I should get three. These are the everything but the bagel seasoned kettle chips. I love these. Don't use your teeth, says mommy. Oh, three, oh. just like you requested. Thank you. Why do I feel like they aren't as flavorful? That's what I'm thinking. They're a little greasy, a little hard. I think I prefer seeded snack bites. Oh, I just got another one that was much more flavorful. I do remember these tasting stronger. I love a kettle chip though, like my absolute preferred style potato chip. I like them. They're just not as mind blowing as I remember. Oh, you know what I might be getting confused with is the Thanksgiving stuffing potato chips are absolutely freaking mind blowing. Those are so good. They taste like top ramen. It's a good thing that they're not always available because mm -hmm. we'd eat them all the time, right? Oh, I do like a good chip though. That's your favorite what? item? Mm-hmm. What? She can steal one more. Hold on. Let me wrap up the video. Otherwise, you're going to be crunching in my mic. All right, guys. I am going to wrap up this video here today. Leave a nice comment about my sweet mom in the comments because she is so cute and I'm so glad that she's here. Yeah, I love um, you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't already, hit that big red subscribe button because I post two videos a week and I would love Ding for you to follow along. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Kissing you. Oh, <laughs>